Hey, welcome to another video from Skeddy Medic, and in this video, I'm going to bring you the S-Cut Emergency Cutters. Man, these things are freaking awesome. So we'll take a look at the S-Cutter QE first, okay? This was the one that I think is going to fit the majority of the first responders who watch my videos. The handle here is plastic, but it's still, it's a nice, sturdy plastic, okay? I don't think you're going to break it, especially since you're not probably pulling from this direction. You're pulling this way, so super strong. You do have the cutting wheel here. And it's replaceable, so we'll talk about that and take a little closer look at it now. A little bit closer look here at the QE before we cut something up with it. Uh, it is plastic, it's about seven and a half inches in length and weighs about two ounces. This is your blade here, which is super sharp. It doesn't turn, it's still fixed. So what you do is you use it, and then if it starts getting dull, you see it's not cutting as sharp as it normally does, then you rotate the dial until the next section and you use it again and then you keep turning it and turning it and turning it until you get to the end and that's when it needs replacing with a blade which you can buy replacement blades for so now let's take a look at the S-Cut 501 now this thing she's ridiculous so it's anodized aluminum super strong got a little extra uh, handle here for strength but man if it'll slide through here you can cut it so taking a closer look at the 501 now, this is anodized aluminum. So it's about nine and a half ounces and it's about nine and a half inches in length. You've got a much bigger grasp handle here to pull some of the heavier things uh, through. There again, if you can slide it through here, it's pretty much gonna cut it. And I say that being realistic, uh, but anything like us first responders are gonna try to cut, um, it's, it's gonna cut it. Now, just to give you fair warning, if you do not want to see me cut up some cool gear, don't watch the rest of the video, okay? Because you guys get really upset when I start cutting nylon. So, I'm going to cut some nylon. I'm giving you fair warning. All right, so here we go. This is actually a nine-foot strap, seat butt cutter. Uh, those in the first responders will know what I'm actually cutting here. Um, but this is like a seat belt. So, let's see if I can do this one-handed. It's going to be the trick here. This is the QE here. Slides in. Boom. Like guys, like that was like butter, okay? I'm being honest with you. Let's see if I can feed it this way. So feed it through. I do it if I get my fingers cut's the problem. So you can see like I'm pushing on my fingers. So I'm not like pulling super hard force. So it even pulled through the double stitching and things like that. So, I'm trying to get this focused a little better for you. Even like double stitching here, just smoke through it. Alright, so let's cut through the VanQuest pack here. We've got the zippers opened up here. I can hold it without cutting myself. Okay, so we ripped right through the zippers, which is what is typically a problem when you're using a cutter tool, is trying to get through the zippers. So, no problems there. Cut through the back side. So, we're just ripping through the molly there and the stitching. Super sharp. All right, so we'll try one last thing here. This is just some rope that I use for practice, tying knots with, stuff like that. Still have our QE here. Quick, that fast. That's pretty cool. So I think it's to say, since we can cut through a thousand or five hundred D Cadore fabric and cut through seat belts, that cutting through blue jeans, shirts like this would be absolutely no problem cutting through. All right, guys, this is gonna be the one you're gonna get really mad about. It's showing camera, but firefighter coats, bunker gear. So you guys know this is not the cheapest demo here. But I'm going to use the big one this time. Like this is some thick material. Um, never tried to cut bunker gear before. So let's try it. Alright, we ripped through that part. Rip through that part. Let's see if we can rip through the intersection now. Oh yeah. Look at that. Bloop. We are ripping through bunker gear. So, let 
Man, that is pretty awesome. Well, I guess my day at the office is done. So I do know that one of the questions is brought about how long the blades last, and I don't have a good answer for you. Um, I've given a couple of the S-cutters out to different EMTs and paramedics they use in the field. They've all had nothing but good things to say about them, and they haven't turned the knob one time yet. So I don't have a good answer for you. I guess it depends on how often you use it, how tough materials you're cutting. But so far, we've had good experience with the blades. So I hope this video helps you never know when you'll be the first responder, remember the right gear and the right training.